model. So, <clears throat> hello, have you ever wanted to do Twitch item redeems like a pro? Well, if your answer to that is yes, then this is the video for you. I will show you how to do Twitch item redeems for your VTube models, VTube model with the help from VTube Studio and mix it up. Let's go. First of all, you will obviously need VTube Studio. It's on Steam. It's a great, uh, great option for tracking your live 2D model. So I definitely recommend it for even that reason. First of all, let's start with our item right here. You obviously get your model loaded up right here first, then you click this star icon right here. You pick whatever item you want to, want to add as your item redeem. I will take the headpad because that is actually what I have been planning to add recently. Then just select. Here, if you had more items, you can place them on different layers. If you want your redeem to be behind your model, select the ones on the negative side. If you want it for in front, select on the positive side. So you cannot place it on the same layer and you cannot place two items on the same layer either. But the, you can make different item groups with the items on the same layer, I believe. Then if you want it to follow your model, have this enabled, pin item to live 2D model. Smoothing, I do not know what it does. So I am not going to say any comments about it. Someone can correct me in the comments if they know what it does. I haven't used it. I haven't noticed any problems without using it. But yes, let's click OK right here. Then it will spawn in the middle of the screen. You can uh, obviously use your scroll wheel to make it as big or as small as you wish. Then you just uh, place it wherever you want. I want it obviously on my head right here then release and it is pinned to the model. It can no longer fall behind you. Don't, you don't have to worry about where it is. It will follow your model to the end of times. Then select the one next to the bubble that we spawned the item from with the three stars inside it. Here you can already see I have two different groups before this. Those are my other item redeems. But select the create new item scene right here, select, then give it a name. Obviously, headpad is the most logical one for this. Name it whatever you want, something that you can remember from maybe what it is so that you can make changes. Here you can see included items. You can double check that everything you wanted is loaded up. Then item scene group is important. Have each of your redeems on a different item scene group so that they can be loaded up at the same time. So I have two before. We will select group three for this and save. Now, it, now it's saved and we can go ahead over here to the settings. It would obviously be here. Actually, it starts off here when you first start VTube Studio. On the first tab, scroll down until you see this right here. Start API, allow plugins, enable that. I already have it enabled. It should be as easy as a, a flick of a button. It might give you some kind of a prompt. Just accept that prompt. The port, I believe, you don't have to do anything for unless that port is already being used by other apps, which is unlikely. <laughs> now let's head over to the last tab of our settings right here. Here you have to have a use keyboard, keyboard hotkeys enabled. And when you scroll down, you should see your hotkeys. If you don't have any, obviously there is none other than the plus sign. Click the plus sign 
and it should open up a new hotkey. Name your hotkey, this is very important, you have to give it a name, otherwise mix it up will not recognize it. So we will just give it the, the same name as our item group. Then just select the first one, hotkey action. Toggle item scene, there's a little search bar at the bottom if you are too lazy to scroll down. Select that. Then right below it, we have item scene. We obviously select our head path item scene right here. Here as well, if you have a bunch of them, you have a handy little search bar right there. I only have three so far, so it's easy to find. Then we can uh, give it two different hotkeys if we wish. There's a handy recording button right here. We'll do record and I will select numpad key, numpad tree, because I have my other ones on the numpad, it is easy to keep track of them that way. In hotkey settings, you can uh, select this stop after seconds. If you want the redeem to go away automatically after a certain time. So I will select 10 seconds for the head path. I feel like that is uh, perfect. It is in seconds. So if we scroll up here, I have these for 900 seconds. It's kind of annoying, but as far as I know, there is no limit. It's, it will just keep going off into the distance. So you can, you can give it a bunch of time if you wish. Then, then the VTube Studio side is pretty much done. We'll still leave VTube Studio open. Now we can test our hotkey. It seems to work. And as you can see, I can load up all of my different redeems at the same time. Maybe I should have uh, moved the headpad uh, hotkey, headpad group over everything else so that it wouldn't look so weird. But what can you do about it? I will fix that later. Now we will get our mix, mix it up installed. I already have it installed. I will have the download link in the description and a pinned comment so that you can easily get it, get through the installer, select whichever drive you wish to install it on and start it up after it's done installing. You will be given a prompt like this. You might not have this part since you are not logged in yet. You will select new streamer, go through the terms, license agreement stuff. Then this is just some about stuff. Then link your Twitch account right here. You click that, it will open up a new tab. I'm not able to do this since, well, obviously I'm already logged in. It will not let me do that. But yes, you will be taken to Twitch, I believe. It will open up a browser anyways, and it will log in through there. Then once you are linked up, oh, looks like I accidentally closed it up. You can log in. It will probably automatically log you in once you have linked your account with the new streamer option. Starting up this can take a while, but don't worry, it should start up just fine. There we go. Looks like there's two people in my chat for some reason. I do not know why, but let's not think about that. Select the three bars on the upper left once you have mixed it up, opened up. Scroll down until you see services right here. Click on that. Then from the list, you can see VTube Studio, open that up. You will be able to connect it. There will be a connect button like this. We click connect right here and go back to VTube Studio. It will have a prompt like this. Click allow. Let's go back to mix it up. As you can see, it is now connected. Then back to the three lines or little menu right here. Let's go up a little bit to channel points. Open that up. 
I already have my two options right here, but we will create a new channel point reward. This is quite nice. You can uh, easily do it without without uh, making it on Twitch first. We will just name it headpad fittingly. Okay. And there we go. Channel point reward successfully created. Now on this, we will select the first option, edit command. You see all your cool stuff right here. Select the action right here. Navigate to VTube Studio, select that and pre press the plus sign and it will add that action. Then on the action here, select run hotkey, then model. It will allow you to select which models this works on. Obviously, I'm going to take Crawling Live 2D avatar, then hotkey. This is why we name it. It's easy to find it, headpad. And then click save. And it will now be done. That is as easy as it is with mix it up. Now, if we go back right here to my channel, we can test it out. As you can see, it is right here, headpad. It will start off with the one point. You still have to change the point cost on your Twitch dashboard. But the creation of the command is easily done through mix it up. We will just redeem this and as you can see, it appears automatically. It is uh, linked to my avatar and after 10 seconds, it should automatically go away. As you can see, that is, that will be it for this, this tutorial. I hope this has been really helpful for you. I, if you have been looking into doing this, or if you have been looking away to do this a little easier, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you want to see me stream, if you want to see more content from me, if you, or if you just want to come say hi to me sometimes, I stream on Twitch on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. I will have that link in my description if you want to check it out. Bye!